Hello, my name is Bill Wepfer. I am chair of the George W. Woodruff School of Mechanical Engineering at Georgia Tech. We live in a fascinating era. We often talk about the so-called grand challenges that the world faces. Areas such as energy, healthcare, environment, water, transportation. What's unique about all of the grand challenges is that they're interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary by nature. In other words, you need to bring expertise from various fields together to solve these problems. Mechanical engineering is a fantastic preparation because all of the grand challenges require inputs and expertise from mechanical engineering. There is no better preparation to make an impact on the world and have an impact on the solution of these grand challenges than a degree in mechanical engineering. Another great benefit of mechanical engineering is that it provides students with a very broad and rigorous foundation. Mechanical engineering students are hired by companies across almost all technology sectors. A mechanical engineering degree does not trap you into only one or two industries. It opens doors across a wide variety of fields. Engineering curricula have been viewed in the past as being very rigid, very inflexible. Each course has a series of different prerequisites so that a student runs the gauntlet from freshman year to senior year. In moving to a more flexible curriculum, it's our belief that if you give our students the opportunity to choose minors or concentration areas, to have more of a say and ownership in their own curriculum, that they will be even more passionate, improve the learning outcomes, and frankly be even better engineers upon graduation than they have been in the past. Well, as we previously discussed, our new curriculum does involve this significantly enhanced flexibility. But there's one more thing that we've done with the curriculum as well, and that is we've emphasized what we would call the design-build component of the curriculum. It's interesting that in the history of Georgia Tech, we've always had this tension between engineers on the one hand that build things and engineers on the other hand that are rigorous with their scientific fundamentals. This is a very healthy tension. And we believe that the curriculum that we are moving to maintains that tension, provides the rigorous fundamentals, but also gives our students the opportunity to build things. Many of our students wish to be entrepreneurs. Many of our students want to be involved with startup companies. And providing them this design, build, innovation, creativity, design culture is another important aspect of where our curriculum is moving. There are several ways in which a student can take advantage of the new flexible mechanical engineering curriculum. We have designed five or six what we call concentration areas. These provide students with opportunities to do deep dives within a technology area. For example, if a mechanical engineering student wishes to become expert in an area such as automation and robotics, they can do so by deep diving into elective courses in mechanical engineering and robotics. We have similar such deep dives in areas such as micro and nano systems, the fluids heat transfer and energy areas, manufacturing and mechanics of materials as well as nuclear engineering. There's a second approach a student might take and that is they know they want to be an engineer, they're not sure what kind of engineering they want to go into, and they want the flexibility. So mechanical engineering affords those students the opportunity to have a degree in mechanical engineering, but do a minor in areas such as aerospace engineering, material science and engineering, biomedical engineering, computer science. A third way that our students can take advantage of the flexible mechanical engineering curriculum would be to do minors in fields that are significantly different than mechanical engineering. For example, a student that might wish to go to medical school should consider a minor in biology or chemistry. A student who might want to have a career in the business world might consider a minor in economics or a minor in management of technology. 
we have several students that have a, a profound interest in going off and serving the public good through government service. Minors in areas like, like international affairs or public policy would be great options. Fundamentally, the new curriculum provides any Georgia Tech mechanical engineering student with the opportunity to participate in any of the institution's minors. And yet there's a fourth and final way a student can take advantage of the flexible curriculum. So many of the areas in this day and age are multidisciplinary. So a student that might want to go into the automotive industry, an industry that's rapidly electrifying, may wish to take some courses in mechanical engineering, such as IC engines, may wish to take power electronics and controls in electrical engineering, and may choose to take electrochemistry in departments such as chemical and biomolecular engineering or material science and engineering. So if a very motivated student has very focused interests, this curriculum allows them to tailor a degree program that will meet their passions and their desires. If you want to change the world and be a part of one of the most dynamic learning and innovation communities, we would love to have you join us as a student in the Woodruff School.